coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good evening on this mild January day. We've seen a lot of clouds across the Wabash Valley, but temperatures have still been in the 60s most of the day. But a cold front's about ready to move through, and as it comes through, it may provide the opportunity for some more rain and even some thunderstorms. So as we look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, you can see all the cloud cover that's been out there. And off to our west, we've been watching showers and thunderstorms develop over across central Illinois. And that red box is a tornado warning for the Decatur area. As we zoom out, you can see this activity is lifting off to the northeast. So these showers and thunderstorms going to miss the Wabash Valley, but we're keeping an eye on the development farther to the south. However, one thing we know with all this cloud cover, storms need some sunshine to get their energy. And since we've had so much cloud cover today, I think if these storms do form as they make their way to the Wabash Valley, they will be on a weakening trend. But of course, we'll still keep a close eye on that for you. This is all associated with a powerful low pressure system that's making its way across the upper Midwest. You can see the snow out here across Minnesota, South Dakota, and Iowa. Farther to the south, there have been severe weather down into the deep south. And then here locally, we're seeing the sky try to clear as this front comes through. And as we transition into that cooler air mass, Again, that's going to provide the opportunity for more of those rain showers and possibly some thunderstorms as well. So as we look at temperatures, most spots still in the 60s at this hour. It's 60 in Brazil, Terre Haute and Linton, 62 down in Vincennes. It's also 62 in Sullivan, Paris and Casey, both at 58 and it's 59 right now in Rockville. So looking at the temperature trend over the next five days, if you've been enjoying the mild weather, well, unfortunately not here to stay. We're going to be clo closing in on the more normal mark as we finish up this week. 38 is the average, tomorrow 44. Then as we get into Thursday, sitting right at that average. And then as we head into the weekend, temperature is going to be in the lower 40s. So while cooler, it is more typical for this time of year. And 40s in January, not too bad either. So as we look at future casts going through the rest of the evening, it's going to show that better chance for some of those showers and isolated thunderstorms across our Illinois communities. Again, then those showers and thunderstorms would run into more stable air because of the cloud cover. So again, I think the better chance for any thunderstorm activity is going to be in the western part of the News 10 viewing area. And then it kind of fizzles out as it pushes farther to the east. But still some rain showers possible all across the Wabash Valley until that front clears through. And of course, if any of those storms turn severe, Storm Team 10 will be here to keep you updated. But as we go into the overnight hours, the rain will move out of here. We'll keep the clouds around, maybe squeeze out some sunshine as we get into tomorrow morning as that colder air starts to work in. Again, tomorrow temperature is going to be in the 40s with the warmest part of the day going to be in the early morning hours. Now, as we get into tomorrow afternoon, cloud cover tries to build back in. And then as we get into Wednesday night, we'll stay with some clouds. But as we get into the day on Thursday, after some early sunshine, the clouds once again take over the forecast. And we can't even rule out a few isolated flurries as we get into the northeastern parts of the Wabash Valley late in the day on Thursday. So that's certainly a sign that that cooler air is going to be making a comeback. So forecast for tonight, 42 degrees. That's going to be in the early morning hours. Again, those showers and isolated thunderstorms possible this evening. We'll keep that wind gusting at times to 20 miles per hour. Then tomorrow, 44. So temperatures don't move much over the course of the day tomorrow. It'll be partly cloudy, breezy, and cooler with those wind gusts still at 25 miles per hour. Then tomorrow night, dropping down to the freezing mark, it'll be mostly cloudy and colder. And as we look at the seven-day forecast, once we get through tonight, the next chance of rain is going to slide into the forecast by the time we get to the weekend. That's going to be on Saturday with highs in the lower 40s. Then after that, that temperatures stay in the lower to middle 40s, which again, pretty typical for this time of the year.